Welcome back. This is the first lecture where I'll show you how to get Visual Studio and set up your first Embraco project. To get Visual Studio, you can download the Visual Studio Community Edition, which is completely free and allows you to install Visual Studio um, and use it for testing and learning purposes. Um, if you head over to www.visualstudio.com forward slash vs forward slash community you will be able to get a download link um, easier way of finding it would be going to your preferred search engine and typing in visual studio community and it should be the first link on there follow the installation process in the wizard and it's a very it should be a very straightforward installation for the purposes of this course, I have already installed Visual Studio. So once you have installed Visual Studio, go ahead and head over to it. This is what Visual Studio looks like when you open it up. And to create the first project, you will need to click on File, New, Project. In the New Project Wizard, Go inside the Visual C Sharp tree and click on web. Then select the SP.NET web application. And let's give it a name. First, Morocco project. Then click OK. Visual Studio will then ask you what type of project we want. Go ahead and select MVC and click OK. Visual Studio will then take a bit of time setting up the project. And we will then go ahead and add Nougat packages to our project. Nougat packages are a way of adding additional functionality to your project. And they can be provided by various different sources. In our case, we will need to add the Embraco Nougat package. So to do this, click on your project in the Solution Explorer, right click on it, and then select Manage Nougat Packages. Then click on Browse, and in the search box, type in Embraco, and then you might have to scroll down you will need the Embraco CMS to download. For the version, leave it as the latest stable and just click install. Several pop-ups may show up asking you to accept licensing. Just click I accept. If you do wish to read them, then please do. Click OK. These will be the changes applied to your project. And then I accept. And then let Visual Studio add the references and the DOLs to your project. This will probably take a bit of time. And you can see the references being added to your solution in the Solution Explorer. If anything needs to be overridden, just click yes to all. This will be mostly config files that need overriding. Once Visual Studio has finished adding the packages to your solution. You can go ahead and click start on the top of your project.
and this should run your broker installation. If this pop-up comes up, don't worry, just click OK with the default option of modify the web config file to enable debugging. Once everything loads up, you will set up your first Embraco user. This is just the Embraco uh, installation process. You might be familiar with similar things in other CMSs. So here we can just go ahead and add your own name. There's an email address. You can add one. something easy this these details will be needed for when we log into the Embraco back office so please do remember them or write them down Once Embraco is done installing, it will then take you to the default Embraco website that gets created as part of the Embraco Nougat package installation. This is just the default website. That we will use to extend and and learn from. So by default, Embraco takes you to the Embraco back office and straight away um, logs you in. So as you can see, the URL here would be whatever Visual Studio decides to run your project, followed by a forward slash Embraco. However, if we just wanted to see the default website, we can select the URL without the forward slash Embraco, open a new tab, and click Enter. And as you can see, this opens up the default Embraco website, which is a very simple sample website that is designed to show you some of the areas of the Embraco. Um, functionality. To access the Embraco back office, if you've just gone onto the website, you will need the root URL and then forward slash Embraco. If you're already logged in, this will directly log you in and take you to the Embraco back office. However, if you haven't logged in, you will need to type in the email address and password that you typed in the previous wizard. So this is a very simple setup of an Embraco project. Thank you very much. And in the next lecture, we will show you the different areas of the Embraco back office and how you can use them.